Pam, and I have a couple of hauls, uh, some from Goodwill, Salvation Army, um, so I thought I'd share them today, and I, uh, my phone does not hold much more than 10 minutes, so I'll just go until it stops, and then I'll start, you know, part two or three or however. Um, I got this at Goodwill, $2.49, which is awesome, because there's a lot. It's really cool trim there. Purple floral. I got these buttons for 50 cents. They were 29 cents, so I think they're fairly older. That says Kmart on it. This bag was a dollar. And there is a crochet hook. This is something for machine. These are really cool buttons. I like that color. Vintage lace that kind of matches it. I don't have a singer, but I'll give these back to Goodwill. And then here's some cool little buttons. So that was a great deal there. I love buttons on cards. I really love this. It's really neat. And then I got uh, this little piece. I want to do... Um, like a homemaker, you know, arts and crafts type sewing journal. I thought I could take that off there and put that in a junk journal. Uh, this was like a decoupage. Cute. 50 cents. Or this is a decoupage. These mushrooms. And this must be like a transfer. Color transfer. That's so cute. And this here was a dollar. And you know, some of it I won't use. Um, I mainly got it for this. I love this. Like a traveler. You know, needle book. And this was handmade. There's a Sears um, receipt. Some pins. Kind of cool. And these were, must have been like, you know, it was for an optometrist. Little tissues for your eyeglasses. Kind of cool. And I won't use this. I don't know if that was such a good deal, but anyway, I got it. And then the only kind of piece of fabric I got was $2.50. Kind of like this. I think it was originally a tablecloth or curtain, but I like that kind of print for a junk journal cover. Um, I got some Golden Book Encyclopedias. I got five of these. They had a whole set, but I didn't get all of them. Um, they are, and they go, you know, L to M. And the dates on here are 1970. You know, different things. Kind of cool. So I have five of those. Next. I have a bunch of books. This one's working together. Got a little library stamp in there. It's kind of ripped right here, but that's fine. I'm going to tear it apart anyway. 1963 is the latest printing. Images are kind of cool. Oh, look at There's even a little work page. Cute. Like that image. So I have that one working together. I have this first picture dictionary. This is 1962. I love this. I don't know if I would cut little pieces out or like a whole tag of this. But isn't that cute? The whole alphabet. Really like that. Got that one. I got a mother goose. This one. Quite a few mother goose. Let's see what um, Nineteen. Eighty-nine was the last printing. I like the kind of bigger pages. I can, you know, fit that in a journal. So I have that one. 
have this nursery rhyme, Lavender's Blue. I've never heard of this one, but I love these colors, that orange and the blue and that yellow around the border. And this is 1982, originally 54, but 82 was the last printing. Pretty colors. A lot of black and white, but then, uh, you know, there's also some of these kind of muted colors here. Blues and kind of an orange color and greens mainly. That's called the book Nursery Rhymes Lavender Blues. Then I'd like to do one with this Joan Walsh Anglin. This is uh, Poems and Prayers. 1997 might be the last printing. Or 89. Oh no, 1997. Cute. A nice little prayer journal. Which I would like to make. Got a long list of books I want to make. Boho, prayer, um, you know, homemaker one. And I do a lot of uh, little golden books. This is really cool. Walt Disney golden book. Uh, Bambi. 1976. Look at that page. The color here. Isn't that pretty? Just love the colors. And the artwork. That's just gorgeous. Look at that one. Bambi. That's a very nice book. We can read words. Looks 70-ish, 80s. And this one, I don't see a date, but you, know, you could do little tags from these here. That one. And I got the big book of real fire engines because I do have a, I think I have a little golden book with fire engines, I believe. So I wanted some uh, yeah, nice big pages with fire engines. Awesome book. Nineteen seventy four was the last printing. See that one. This is a newer, newer book, but I do like elephants. I thought I'd do an elephant type book. Some more like photographs. But I think they're just a beautiful, majestic animal. With a baby one. I have that one. And I have a garden planner. I may have. Yeah, I think I already have one of these. And then I make tags out of them. I sew paper to the back and make, you know, little tags, so I'll have tons of these. Put them all. So, plenty of those. And what else? I have the Everything Kids Puzzle Book. I like to have sometimes little workbooks and things, workbook pages in a junk journal. So this is kind of nice. It has, you know, a whole lot of different things to it. That's a newer one. What else do I have? Well, throwing things around. I have these. I think I got three of these for a dollar, which is a great deal. Music, fun book, singing and playing, piano course, and they have writing, but that's fine. I'll use it anyway. Look at that image there. Children. These are really cute. What's this here on this? Dutch. Copyright 1927, but um, I don't know, 1927. Can that be? I mean, look at that. Is that one? There's a music fun book. 
little practice book with little images. Here. Cute. This one is singing and playing. 1928. Look at this. This is really beautiful. Look at that page. First piano book. Oh my gosh, these are awesome. This one here. Just adorable. 